What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a quick look at the FuryTech Python for the Capra 18. I'm very excited to get this installed. You know, I did a video on the Python for the 24s and honestly, I, I'm more excited about this because I've really, really needed this in this Capra. I, I'm very happy with how this thing's performing. I've built this thing by not really putting a ton of money into it. You know, it's using a lot of things I already had, wheels and tires, shocks, servo, Things I already had around here. I've got the Fury Tech cage on here now. I love the look of this thing. And this just really fits my outdoor course very well. So I found myself wanting to drive it more, but I've been having some brownout issues with the servos. I dropped down to this kind of cheaper 25 kg servo, hoping to save a little power, but still wasn't really getting it done. So if I ever want to go with a higher powered servo or go rear steer, you know, I really needed to go this route. And with this, I'm going to get everything that we always get from Fury Tech. The crazy, smooth, controlled, slow crawl, plenty of wheel speed, 2 to 3S capable on this one. This is uh, going to be a waterproof plastic case. This is just a test unit, so it looks a little different. These are on pre-order right now for 90 bucks, And uh, that's not bad, in my opinion, for something like this we're going to get plenty of power this has a 5.5 or 7.4 volt 5 amp bec so it should power this whatever we want to run in here and um hopefully this is going to totally take this thing over the top you know like i said i didn't want to spend a ton of money on this because it's not something i used a lot like nobody else around here has one of these so if i go out somewhere i don't really run it but here at the house, I find myself wanting to run it a lot. So I want to get this installed. My only real complaint with this is just the short battery lead. And that will probably change on the production units. Usually that's something that changes. I always get these short battery leads and then they're longer. But I'm going to adapt it to an XT60 just because that's what I run on all of my crawlers for the most part. So I made up this little adapter and that will make it plenty long. So uh, I'm going to get this thing installed. I'm switching out the receiver as well. I'm trying to get all of these Noble receivers switched out so I can sell that thing. Because I'm loving the radio link. And look at the micro receiver for this thing. Tiny. This thing does everything. I need to do an update on this. I plan to do a video of how to update it. And all of that. Just got to get to it. But absolutely loving this thing. And so we're going to run it with this and see how this thing will crawl. So I'm gonna get this installed, get it back together, and we'll take it out to the course and do a little running. Overall, I think this thing's running pretty good now. I didn't have any issues with brownouts. Uh, the servo I got in here is just a cheap budget servo, but it was browning out before, even just with this smaller 25 kg servo. And, uh, you know, I'm not really looking to put a crazy powerful servo in here. For the amount I use this truck, this one does fine. It moves the entire truck, no issues. 
this ESC does have the built-in Bluetooth and everything, so you can still tweak everything just like before. But I did kind of notice, even though no matter what I did with the settings, this motor seemed a little outgunned. You'll kind of notice right here. See, that kind of struggles to, like, have the torque to get over that. And then it lunged over it. Um, that happened more than I would prefer. But once I got used to it, I was able to adjust my throttle finger a little bit and make smooth crawls over things like that. The first couple of times I ran it, I was really struggling. I would get in that kind of bind and then it would just leap over it. But once you get used to how you need to work the throttle, you can get around it. But it did happen quite a bit. And it's something I tried to adjust. I updated the ESC. I actually had to delete my app and re-download it because when I updated the ESC, everything just froze and the Bluetooth wouldn't connect at all. But once I deleted the app off my phone, re-downloaded it, everything was fine. You'll notice again right here how it gets right there where the front is really digging in. You can hear that motor just twitching. It's just the outrunner motor just not quite doing what I want it to do. But I was able to get over it smooth enough. It just takes a little getting used to on the throttle. But you can see here I'm able to continue over this peak nice and smooth at where initially i was like just leaping over things like that so once i you know played with it got used to it a little bit i didn't really have as much of an issue with it So I think you could hear it right there where it just gets in those spots where it's in a little bit of a bind and you can really hear it kind of struggling, but it's able to pull over things with no issues. Just gotta kind of get used to how it's gonna react in those situations. Here you can see, I'm just trying to work the servo while I'm climbing, really just messing around, trying to make sure it wasn't gonna brown out on me. I get down here in a little bit of a bind, trying to work the servo with a little bind on it, just to make sure nothing was gonna have any issues and never once did it have a brownout or anything like that so maybe four wheel steer is something i'll do to this in the future i don't know i'm just trying to keep this pretty budget friendly i really haven't spent much on this thing and i don't plan to because i just don't use it enough i do enjoy it but like i said nobody else around here has one of these so it's not something that i take out and run a lot with other people it's just not but i do like it and i think this fury tech system is a go now they've got it lined out with this python definitely the way to go and um enjoying it so you guys let me know what you think about it i appreciate everybody watching peace